Um, I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes. Um, it's not going to be a very long one because it's uh, based on poetry. I'm just going to give us um, read some of my poetry and have a bit of a discussion about something that I thought would be another good idea their own uh, and we'll run another competition for that um so like i was just saying we'll give it a minute or so see if we get more people coming in i think we've had a lot of people probably just watching joe Wick. <clears throat> just going to jump onto another wi-fi just onto the wi-fi hotspot so hopefully there we go so hopefully it shouldn't jump uh, drop out hopefully it should be a bit of a better signal right um so today's what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the workshop and then i will announce the winners from the riot creative writing competition that i ran last week at the end of it uh it will be a long workshop probably only be about 10 minutes today it won't be half an hour like last week because there's less to go through um, but I am quite excited about the idea especially with everything that's going on at the minute around the world I think it'll be quite a good um, exercise for us to go through or for you guys to go through so hopefully if people aren't watching it now you know I'll put the link as of last week on my website and people will be able to watch it um, and go through it again and, and go through it after the fact so if you're not watching it live it doesn't matter you'll still be able to take part so the thing, I love poetry. Um, I find it fascinating. I love writing poetry. I love reading other people's poems. Um, I think they, they're so diverse in the way that they tell stories. You know, you, you, your poems can rhyme. They don't have to rhyme. There's lots of poems that don't rhyme. It's not, you know, there are various different structures that you can go for. You can, you know, if you look at some of the, the best children's poems out there, if you look at things like Michael Rosen's, chocolate cake or, or, or no breathing in class, you know, their, their structure is quite loose in the way that it doesn't necessarily follow, you know, line, rhyme with line, rhyme with line, rhyme with line. It's more in the telling and the rhythm and the beat and, and it's, it's almost like music. And I think that's one of the best things about poetry is that it's so flexible and it's so personal and you can make it however you want to. Um, and I, I, so whenever I do workshops on poetry with children, I try and give them something that's a little bit structured because I think it, it just makes it a little bit easier to get in because a lot of children are worried about poetry. They go, it's got to rhyme. Every, other, every word has got to rhyme, which it doesn't. Um, and they think, oh, it's got to be a certain way. It's got to either be a haiku or it's got to be a limerick or it's got to be an ABAB or an ABBA or whatever kind of rhyme scheme. And, and it doesn't have to be that. So, but hopefully by giving a little bit of structure today and a little bit of an idea, that will help us to go through. So the poem I'm going to read is from my book called Take Your It. And this is a poem that I wanted to base our poems on this week. And again, I'll run a competition. So once this is finished, I'll give you the full details but of what I'm looking for. But what I'll do this week is um, if you want to enter the competition this week, again next week, I'll come back on. I don't know if I'll be doing a workshop next week, but I'll come back on. And I'll, I'll do a short video announcing the winners and um, I'll send those people a signed copy of Tigurit. So the poem today is Remember. And this is what I want us to base it on. Remember capital letters, she said. Remember your full stops. Remember to join your letters, she moaned, and please wipe up your snot. Remember your fronted adverbials, she whined. Remember to use subclauses. Remember to extend your sentences using commas to indicate pauses. Remember semicolons and present perfect tense, but don't forget to read it through to make sure that it makes sense. Remember your written methods or to use your brain if you're able. Remember to carry the one, my dear, and learn each of your times tables. With all of that to remember, I think I'm going insane. With all of that to remember, I think I've forgotten my name. So the whole point behind this poem, this is what's called, what I call a list poem. And it's just a list of things based on a, th based on a theme. Okay, so 
I base this, you know, the theme here is remember and it's remember everything that you have to do in class. So as a teacher, I sometimes feel like I was, you know, I sometimes felt like I was saying to children, remember this, remember that, remember to do this. And just this endless stream of things that they have to remember. And I think children feel the same as well sometimes. And that's what that was based on. Um, but a list poem can be based on on anything, really. You know, it could be based on things about you. I've got another one in here called Don't. OK, and Don't goes. Don't go on the grass. Don't go near the mud. Don't play in the nettles and don't go near the woods. Don't pick the flowers. Don't play with sticks. Don't run in the corridors and don't draw on the bricks. Don't play British Bulldog. Don't skid on your knees. Don't wear fancy bracelets and don't climb up the trees. Don't eat green yogurt. Don't wee on the seat. Don't drink too much chocolate milk and don't eat bags of sweets. Don't use your imagination. Don't have any fun. Don't take any risks at all. Not any. Not one. So again, that's a list poem with don't, 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 don't. It's about things that don't do. And it can work for, you know, for any kind of list, really. But what I want to set today, really, for you guys watching and people watching after the fact, is I want to take that idea of remember. And what I will do is on my website, um, when I put this video up onto the website, I'll put the poem, remember, up onto my website as well on the same page, mattbeaton.co.uk forward slash ask. And I'll put it up there so you can see the structure of the poem. But what I would love and what I would like to see from you guys as a competition for next week, and again, I'll pick some winners to win a signed copy of Tig Your It, is your own remember poem thinking about everything that you've got to remember. Now, normally when I do this, you know, I, I use this poem quite a lot in class um, when I'm doing workshops in schools. And it's great because all the children have so many different things that they have to remember. It might be remember to pack your peak. It might be remember you've got gymnastics after school. It might be remember to clean your horse out. It might be, I don't know, remember you're picking up your brother from school. It could be so many different things to remember. But actually at the minute, in the world we're living in now, with everybody locked in home, those things that you have to remember are completely different you know so it might you've got so many things you know remember to wash your hands remember to sing happy birthday remember to um only leave the house for essentials you know you've got all of these different things your, your world our world is different now to how it was maybe even only a month ago so the things that you have to remember now are like i say vastly different to the things that you would have had to have remembered a week ago. So I'm really excited, really interested to see those kind of poems coming through, things that you have to remember. Now, I'm not looking, yours doesn't have to rhyme. Mine rhymes, but that's just because I quite liked when I was writing it, I wanted to try and make it rhyme. Yours doesn't have to rhyme. I'm not going to be judging it on rhyming. Um, I'm just going to be looking for those poems that where, where kind of the children have really thought about what kind of things do they have to remember? Okay, and how does that work together? as a poem if you look at remember when you're reading through i've kind of gone from remember capital letters remember your full stop so the serious of the things that you need to remember in class the basic things and as i've gone through i've gone through all those different things right down to the end with all of that to remember i think i'm going insane with all of that to remember i think i've forgotten my name so i've gone through that string and got to the end and gone for something a little bit silly because it's kind of I want to finish on a little bit of a of a funnier note or a little bit of a silly note or a light-hearted note. The same with don't. Okay. So we've got don't, 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 don't. And then the last verse, or the last verse before the end is don't eat green yogurt, don't wee on the seat, don't drink too much chocolate milk, and don't eat bags of sweets. So they're light-hearted things again. So it's going through that process as a poem. It's not you you you're thinking about the structure of things about right. Am I going to put don't wee on the seat, which is a silly thing, with don't run in the road, which is a serious thing. Or am I going to put all of my silly things together at the end, all of my serious things together at the beginning? So even though your poem's free form and it doesn't have, you don't have to have that structure, it works better if you think about where those ideas go in there. So that will be the competition for next week, if you want to have a go at doing that, is to write your own remember poem. Okay, and I will put that, like I said, I'll put that poem up onto my webpage once we've finished this video and you can have a look and see the actual structure of mine. Now, the winners from last week for the creative writing. I said I was going to announce three winners, but I've had four entries that were 
really, really good. And I just couldn't pick between those four entries. So in the end, I've just picked four because I thought, well, I can. Um, so the four people that I've picked as winners, and I'll be sending emails back to these people um, just to get all their details. So just keep an eye on emails for, for the information coming through. Uh, go to my web uh, go to my web page, um, find out which you know, decide which book it is that you want. I'll sign a copy and I'll stick it in the post. Uh, bear with me, obviously, getting to the post office at the minute is a little bit of a nightmare. Um, the post you know post people are trying as hard as they can but it might be a bit delayed so so do do bear with me that it might take a few days or a week or so to get to you uh, the first winner is uh, a girl called lee eastwood um and her story was about two orphans and it was told through the point of the point of view of their memoirs and the the two orphans were built so well the personalities of these orphans that you know, I, I kind of I didn't know where she got the ideas from. They'd come from so many different places. She'd really thought about the, the structure of it and how that personality was being shown, which was brilliant. And um, by the sounds of it, there's going to be a great who done it at the end as well. Uh, so well done, Lily. And the second person was Lucas Pritchett Doherty, and his was I just loved his character idea. It, it was about this character who was almost like a superhero but he could create things and build things and the world became so reliant upon this character that when he passed away at the end we weren't able to function as a society and I love the idea of the, the, the personality that came through in the story the build-up of the character as being this hero that that really tried his best to save everybody but in the end ended up destroying the world because we became so reliant upon him um, I really like that I love that story. I love the character. So, Logan Lucas. Uh, the third one was uh, Francesca Kemp, and she had just a brewing use of emotion and internal voice to build the character. A lot of it was told through the character's thoughts. So, um, they were, she was a spy, and she was running away from, uh, or running towards, sorry, the end of a mission for a spy company, for her kind of spy group to find her. And Francesca had written it in such a way that it was all internalized. So, as you know, I expected myself to be more scared at this point. I couldn't believe how brave I was being. Um, all of those kind of things told me so much about the character just through the internal voice in this character's head. And it was a brilliant way to, it was a brilliant way to tell the story and a great example of, of kind of show, don't tell. Um, so, well done, Francesca. I really liked yours as well. And then I think perhaps one of my favourites was uh, um, from Annabelle Rashley. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. And this, it was, it was told at the point of view of this character running away, but we had no idea, certainly to begin with, why the character was running away, and we had no idea about the character. But as the story progressed, as it ran and ran and ran, little bits of information were leaked in, so it built up the character over the whole. I think it was three pages in total. And it just built it and built it and built it. So it, it again, like with um, Francesca's use of the internal voice, nothing was kind of told outright. It was just a really interesting way to build the character. And, and it made me want to keep reading and keep reading and keep reading to find out more about the character. So those are my four winners. So well done, Lily Eastwood, Lucas Pritchard Dirty, Francesca Kemp, and Annabelle Rashley. Um, I'll be sending emails out to those people at some point today so keep an eye on that um, if you want to choose the book uh, that you would like of mine I will sign them like I say get them in the post and um, if you'd like to take part in today's poetry competition that I've just been through um, have a look on my web page um, I will put like I said poem for a member up there and that will be again the deadline for that will be midnight next Tuesday which will be I'll have a look at my calendar I can't do it in my head. So next Tuesday, the 7th of April. So midnight, Tuesday, 7th of April. Um, we've not had anywhere near as many viewers today, um, but hopefully they'll come later. Don't forget, spread this. Tell your friends about it. Tell your class if you're in school. I mean, if you're you know, a key worker child and you're in school, tell them. Stick it on WhatsApp, whatever, and the more, the merrier. All right. Like I said, it's been a short workshop today, um, but hopefully... Those of you who have joined in have enjoyed it, and hopefully those who watch it later will. Thank you very much, and I will see you later.